Hello and welcome again to Stocks Advisor channel. In today's episode, we will talk about uh, our PH company that is traded at uh, Nasdaq, Aurina Pharmaceuticals. So Aurina Pharmaceuticals is a company that is showing incredible volatility during the last half a year. So it creates very nice, I say, range of prices, quite stable and safe to play. If you would like to ride the waves of volatility and make profit here and there. So, um, and with this being said, actually, you can clearly see that we are trading within really incredible uh, levels. So uh, it's slightly kind of, you can say now declining channel, but you can't really call it declining. It's actually quite a broad trading channel that we see uh, taking place and stably reconfirming it. So the lower part of it is R1 and the higher part of it is actually uh, at least for the last four months being formed, like let's call it R2. And if you look percentage wise, uh, price change were kind of fluctuating up to uh, 30%, which is really nice, really high. And also, if you look at uh, other parameters and behaviors here, it actually uh, looks like we now touched the, the, the top of R2 and uh, there was no pressure to uh, pierce it higher. Also, looking at other parameters, so it might be the downwards movement will start soon, so it will open interesting buy opportunities here for Aurina Pharmaceuticals. So let's do a quick analysis here to understand how we can play and what we can do in general. So first of all, at our daily charts, as we as we always do present, we have three moving averages depicted, this three colorful line. These are moving averages 20, 50, and 200. Here on the left, you see their legends, uh, being green, blue, and red line correspondingly. So uh, if you look at those behavior, you can see that, for example, moving average 20 and 50, but the last half year actually following each other and kind of waving around each other, not showing any uh, significant straight move. Overall, you can say they are kind of trending also with, within the channel that we discussed. So kind of within this average line and uh, this creates kind of a mid of this channel. Also, if you look at moving average 200, you can see it is working actually as a kind of uh, top ceiling as well because the price, uh, at least the bodies of the candles never jumped higher than R2 and uh, it was always lo it looking like whenever you go higher than SMA 200, it's just starting to decelerate slightly volatiling there. Well, not slightly today, but in general volatiling there and then starting moving down. And with this being said, it opens interesting opportunities because today, if you look at the price section, was very reasonable and uh, actually after going almost to 16.80 and well down all the way until 14.75 and then recovered slightly to 14.86 where it stopped now. And of course, if you look here, the upwards uh, shadow of today's candle is much higher even than the body of the candle and the downward shadow, which is kind of more like a bullish indicator. Well, depending, of course, on the position of the candle is much lower. So overall, what we can say here is still expected to continue the volatility, but now the volatility will shift. And if you think of this um, volatility box that is uh, taking place here, you can see that the level starting from this one is now going much lower. So you can expect this box to go lower and trade in this, in this area. And with this being said, it actually opens uh, a discussion here about how we shall trade, what would be our strategy. And it's all, only about how to enter and just average down if needed to make a right profit. Of other indicators also saying that it might be we are about to uh, start declining a little bit, either general, uh, like we had the upwards move, let's say, uh, during uh, January beginning, so we might go downwards now. So it's kind of a general move, but also volatility wise that we go down is because if you look, for example, uh, MACD histogram after uh, having two nice downwards waves, now we had one, two secondary wave up and now it's bottoming, uh, topping actually. So it need to go a little bit down uh, and then either make a third higher wave restart, meaning that if this happens, it would mean that we might go to the middle of the channel. Let's call this line R3. 
and then restart from it upwards or it, uh, MACD can go even in the negative zone and then restart so if this would be happening it would mean that we go all the way until R1 and only then restart in both cases we, we can be prepared and we can appreciate both situations and uh, trade there Looking at uh, RSI behavior, yes, it's slightly increasing, but looks like it's still going to volatile a little bit, maybe in the middle uh, zone before going anywhere higher. So with this being said, we can already think of entering levels. And uh, here, speaking of entry levels, of course, uh, you can say that the, f the first entry could be done uh, in this, let's say, within this uh, kind of volatility channel or meaning like actually anything lower than um, uh, anything lower than today's body and and then it cre uh, makes also here another channel kind of volatility levels let's say not really a channel let's call them v1 v2 and it's interesting to see that they also coincide with the size of today's downwards shadow actually and this will make it the first entry opportunity to to make a quick spot up and what we discussed here today it's very important it's not really thinking of trending, but just making profits with one up to 10% trade. So you enter, if you make 10% trade, you just exit. That's the strategy to play. So this would be the first uh, enter position. And then, of course, if the price declines further, if it uh, goes further, then we just need to wait. And then we wait until uh, R3 level, so this gray, gray line. And, of course, until uh, the next, let's say, volatilities that could be seen here. And that would be this trend line. So uh, let's call it V3. Uh, with this being said, everything between uh, R3, the grand line, and V3 will be uh, the second entry position. So averaging down a uh, second time. And then, of course, should we go lower, um, then we just wait until we, we, see, we go in this region. So until we go indeed uh, to the bottom of the, of, of the current trading channel. And with this being said, that would be this narrowing volatility level of V4. And then we just buy anything below V4 until R1. So this or even a little bit lower than R1. So this would be the last average down. If this is happening, of course, will be a very strong reversive momentum. So here, since we are playing for volatility and we would like to make nice profit, it's more defense play. So we choose four portions to play here, meaning first you buy with one portion, then you average down uh, with one portion again. And if needed, you average down second uh, second time with two portions, according to the entry levels described here with dark circles. So meaning that in first circle, you buy with one portion and second circle, you again buy with one portion. And then the last one, you buy with two portions. With this having said, of course, any moment the reverse of momentum is expected. And again, speaking of exiting, because this is very volatile, we advise to ride the waves up to 10% and then be uh, looking at another opportunities, maybe again replay if, if it will be volatile here or check other stocks because also at our channel we place uh, daily many videos. <coughs> Sorry. And then you can always trade there. So be consistent by trading. Uh, try to trade positively many times rather than trying to become rich from one trade. This is usually not possible and kind of a recipe for disaster. So with this being said, that's all for now. Uh, our ph uh, also what i would like you to ask uh, to check our uh, free mobile application here you see uh, on the left uh, bottom side uh, sorry on the right bottom side you see uh, this mobile application also called stocks advisor you can find it uh, for the moment for android devices for this mobile application you can always find uh, and be let's say updated with latest 14 videos uh, downloaded to the channel also you can follow us at facebook and by the way at instagram as well uh, with the same ticker and the same actually a nickname stocks advisor so we also post their links to the videos uh, depending of which uh, let's say social media you prefer you can always stay in touch with us and be updated about new videos being uploaded so with this having said good luck again with um, our ph and see you at another episode of stocks advisor channel